Welcome to the first episode of our college book review series, I'm Eric And I'm Gus And today we're gonna talk about Ghost So what is Ghost about? Ghosts is a horror story written by Edward Stantycat. It's about a family living in a house that just happens to be haunted by spirits and ghosts. In the end, the main character Pascal is driven crazy by the spirits and eventually murders his entire family and friends. Eric, what did you think about ghosts? Mmm, Goose, I don't know how to say this, but I think you read the wrong novel. Uh... What? We were supposed to read Edwidge Danticat Ghost, a story about a young boy living in the slums of Haiti. Uh, so why is this story called Ghosts? That doesn't make any sense. Dude, what the f*** is going on? Ghost is a story about Pascal, a young man living in the corrupt and violent slums of Haiti. The story follows a few days in his life as we learn how it feels to live in the streets of one of the violent places on earth. Well, the story was written by Edwidge Danticat, who is a very well-known award-winning writer of Haitian descent, known for works like, uh, you know, Ghosts, of course, and, uh, 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 sh- Edwidge Danticat is an award-winning writer of Haitian descent. She was born in Haiti, but emigrated to the US, where she has lived most of her life. So Eric, what did you think about Ghosts? Ghosts feels like an insight to the criminal mind. I like it because it was very different from what we have read from an occidental world perspective. I mean, it's very rare if we read about Haiti, even if the news last time I heard about Haiti was about the earthquake earthquake sorry and no offense but we don't even consider this country on the americas well i do but not so much and other people i know uh whatever uh it makes you think about the talks and all the bang all the good thanks gangs yeah good uh and whole life could be so hard for them the thing i enjoy the most is the fact that it's really really short, well narrated and it does shock you and the the text is like if you go to the bathroom or if you are going to classes or or you are in a very deep traffic you can read it like in short time and it will be an absolute delightful reading. Well, I also thought it was very good. I think it had a great introduction to the setting. Um, I think the story takes place in in a town called Bel Air in Haiti, and from the from the start, it's known that it's like a very corrupt place, and it's even said by the narrator that it was considered like the Baghdad of Haiti. Well, the story's about Pascal. Pascal's a young kid, and well, his parents own a restaurant where they sold mostly fried pigeons i believe and they raised them but uh, some it's mentioned that some of the gang members uh, sometimes slaughtered them for a ritual before losing their virginity so it's a very colorful story you could say and well the restaurant was always filled with gang members and well pascal's dad didn't like it however he knew they had to stay so his children could have a future uh, it kind of reminded me of Goodfellas. Have you seen that movie? Well, Goodfellas is a great film, and well, it's about these gangsters. And most, well, I mean, not most of the story, but some part of it takes place in a restaurant they frequent. And in, in the restaurant, well, they spend a lot of their time in the restaurant. And the owner doesn't like it, of course, because they're always they're always doing you know gangster stuff. And eventually, the owner, I mean, the owner doesn't like it, but he has to keep letting them in because that's his, like, main income of money. And at one point, he doesn't want to let them in anymore, and he doesn't pay, I mean, he he was paying them something, like, protection money, and he stops paying them, so the gangsters, you know, eventually burn down the place. So it kind of reminded me a lot of that, because the dad wanted them i mean he didn't want the gangsters to be there but he knew they had to be in there so their children could have a future 
And, well, we don't really want to spoil anything, but Pascal has a great idea, uh, which is like to work for a news station and report things from inside the slums so people could get like an inside view. And I really like the story because it felt real. I mean, it was like something I've heard before and the setting felt real and fleshed out. I mean, I guess we haven't talked about ourselves mostly because nobody on YouTube cares. But we live in Mexico and you get these kinds of news sometimes about gang shootouts and drive-bys and stuff like that. So to me, the novel had a certain like authenticity to it. And, you know, I don't want anyone to think like, oh my God, Mexico is terrible and dangerous. No, I mean, it's a beautiful country, but like anywhere else, you need to be conscious of where you go. Um, so, yeah, definitely visit Mexico. It's a great place. And, <laughs> you know, that got a little off topic. Uh, back to ghosts. I really felt uh, dirty while reading the story, and I wanted to take a shower after I was done with it. It gives you that kind of feeling, and it's great. I mean, at least for me. It's like that feeling I get after watching The Exorcist. So, like, when you're done watching that movie, you always, like, I want to clean myself, right? So, you eventually, like, I always, like, take a shower after watching that movie. And that's one of the best things I can say about anything. This, this story affected me in that kind of way, and it was great. And every character's life is totally influenced by these gangs. So... I mean, it's a great story, and the only complaint I have, which isn't really a complaint, but I would have loved it if the story was told in a first-person perspective, like if it was told by Pascal. I think that would have given it maybe just a little bit more authenticity, although the story was really good from the start, that would have given it um, a little edge, maybe. But it's a minor nitpick. Ghosts is a very good read, a very good story. So, Eric, would you recommend Ghosts, a story that has nothing to do with ghosts? Absolutely. Uh, I love the part of the pigeons, sexual pigeons. Uh, I mean, who the hell thinks of that? But, um, do you recommend it? I would recommend it, most definitely, yeah. It's good, and it's pretty short. I think I read it in like 30 minutes or so. I would recommend it to anyone who can enjoy a short, violent, dark, and gritty story. I would not recommend it to little teenage girls who like to read uh, Twilight books or to, you know, middle-aged women who like to read like Fifty Shades of Grey. Anyone else is cool though, yeah, definitely, read it, it's, uh, it's good. And it's really short. Well, guys, if you read Ghost and it give you and it give you the chills and you are like with nothing to do, reflect uh, a little bit about why they are called Ghost and why the title is Ghost, and we can share the theories on the comment section below. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, bitch. Dude, you can swear this is a school project. Remember? Uh. What does that even mean? I haven't been to school since kindergarten.